Peace. This is Azania X, Azania 92, Lady X, Lady X on Jupiter, Empress, however you want to say it. Peace, y'all. But um, today is July 4th, um, 2011. It's 226 in the morning. And I'm just up because I'm a night owl. You see the bags forming. I need to get some sleep. But um, anyway, um, I've just been going down memory lane, you know, for the past couple of weeks since I've been home. I recently finished my freshman year at Grambling State University. See the shirt. <laughs> but yeah, I recently finished my first year. And I was also in the marching band. And, you know, just I've really been thinking about um, my experience in the marching band. It was amazing, like an experience like none other, you know, to say the least. But one of the things that just really stuck out to me, one of the really negative aspects about my experience um, was the issue that they had with natural hair in the band. And I say that because the first day I came, you know, I was so excited, I was nervous, all kind of emotions, you know. And, you know, I was asking the guy, uh, what do I do, you know, how can I get in, what I gotta wear, just tell me what, what I have to do so I can get in the band. And um, along with black, a black pair of black shorts and like a white shirt, you know, he told me that I had to cover up my afro. You know, I had this afro was out and everything. And he said, you have to cover that up. And I'm like, I'm just looking at him like, what, what is this dude talking about? Somebody tell me. Like, he told me I had to cover up my afro, you know, so I was... Instead of just making a fuss, I just like, I just said, okay, went back to my dorm room and I'm like, I'm not coming up, I'm not wearing a head wrap in 90 degree weather, you know, so I just twisted up my hair, kind of like I have right here, it's not that long though, but I twisted up my hair and I came back to practice and they told me, you can't wear a twist in the band. And I'm just looking like, so what do I do with my hair? I can't wear afro, I can't wear twists. What else do I wear? Like, that's the only, that's the main way I style my hair. Afro or twists, one or the other, you know? So, you know, I after that, you know, I just started wearing my hair and just like puffs. Like, you know, just pull it back, you know, puff on here like a little ponytail or something like that. I started wearing that a lot, you know, and after that, you know, wearing my hair around like that, I got the name Buckwheat. Yeah, in the HBCU band. Yeah, I got the name Buckley. And anyway, um, after that experience, you know, I started realizing that the those people, you know, the Grambling State University marching band, um, the people within the band, they really had a serious issue with natural black hair. And I really confirmed that when one day we were practicing. And the, um, the head director, the band director, he came up to me and he said, how come you don't wear your hair slicked down like the other girls? And I just looked, I was like, I didn't know how to feel. Like, should I be nice? Should I be mean? Like, should I really come up on this dude? Like, you know, I'm from New Orleans, you know, so we got, you know, but I just told him because I'm natural and I just, I decided not to perm my hair. You know, I'm just looking at him like, why would he even say something like that to me? You know, like something is wrong with wearing my hair natural as a black African woman. You know, like how, where, what are y'all coming from with this in the year of 2010? You know, so I was just, oh, uh, even now, just going back, just thinking about that now, just, it kind of angers me a little bit, but anyway, um, so, Grandma State University Marching Band has this issue, and they have this law that they, well, a rule, I'll say a rule, rather. They have this rule where you can't wear dreadlocks, braids, twists, and um, from my experience, afros. So that's four things that you can't wear. And they also have a rule on weaves, and several females in the band wear weaves, but that's not an issue. No one gets talked about. But if you have one, if you're doing one of these four hairstyles, you're you're going to get called out. You know, and that's one of the issues I have. You know, how come, you know, an HBCU, a historically black college and or university, you know, why is there this issue where we can't wear hairstyles that are synonymous, that are affiliated 
with black people. You know, we're, they're allowed to wear perms and weaves and everything like that, but you can't wear afros, twists, braids, and dreadlocks. Come on now. A black university, and we're not allowed to wear those hairstyles. So that's one of the main main issues I had, you know, with with my college experience. You know, I think that if that could have been changed, I think my experience would have been a lot better. You know, but I really did try to change it. You know, I'm a rebel at heart. You know, so I tried to, you know, I would come to band practice one day with my hair twisted, you know, I would go to a game, you know, hair twisted like, I don't care, don't tell me nothing, you know, this is, this, I'm fighting the power, you know what I mean, I'm trying to get this change, you know, for the people that are going to come in after me with their afros, their dreadlocks, their twists and their braids, you know, natural black hair people, natural hair black people, I'm sorry, I'm getting my words mixed up, it's late. <laughs> But, you know, I'm doing this for the people who are going to come in after me, you know, who I don't want them to go through the same thing that I had to go through. I don't want them to go through, you know, being called buckwheat, you know, and having people laugh at you because you come into band practice with an afro. You know, I don't want anyone to go through what I went through, you know, and I've been going through that, you know, I had to go through that my senior year of high school, you know, so... Having to go through that in college, you know, I really didn't expect it. You know, I really thought college was going to be different when, you know, tons of mature people, open-minded and everything. It was a complete different, it was the complete opposite. Um, you know, it's college for me was more like an extension of high school, but um, <clears throat> I really been thinking about that. You know, I'm really trying to get this rule where we're not, where black people aren't allowed to wear black hairstyles in black HBCU bands, you know, <clears throat> I'm really, um, I'm really trying to get that change right now, and I would also like some feedback, or even, um, some advice on how, um, on how I could do that, you know, I'm going to try to contact, uh, the president, Frank G. Pogue, I'm going to try to contact the directors, you know, talk to them, like, really change this. And I'm also going to get some support from campus, from students and teachers and the faculty members um, who also believe that this rule should be changed. And, yeah, that's just my, my little uh, night hour rant, you know. Thanks for listening. Peace.